Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Silverstone ST75F 750 watt modular power supply. What's included is a user's manual, power cable, four black screws for mounting the power supply in the case, modular leads, and the power supply. I'm reviewing the 750 watt model, which is enough for most high-end computer systems. Now how is this wattage determined? Well, to understand that, you need to know what rails are. Rails are basically well-regulated transformers which convert domestic current into the voltages that your computer system can use. And there are essentially two different rails, the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail and the 12 volt rail. In this particular case, the approximate maximum peak output of the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is 170 watts and the 12 volt is 650 watts, which is essentially how the wattage of this power supply is determined. The 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is responsible for the motherboard, memory, PCI cards, AGP card and so on, while the 12 volt rail is responsible for the hard drives, DVD, CD-ROM, fans, etc. Also, some might be interested to know the peak amps on each rail, while well, the plus 3.3 volt is 24 amps and the plus 5 volt is 30 amps. Now unlike some power supplies that only have one or two plus 12 volt rails, this model has four and they are all 18 amps. This ATX 12 volt power supply meets the very latest environmental standards, today's new testing procedures and protection. Now there are a couple of important factors to note when purchasing a power supply and that's its efficiency and does it have active PFC. It's recommended to get a power supply that's about 80% efficient or better under typical load and this power supply is 80% efficient. As for APFC or active power factor correction, this is something that also assists the power supply in being more efficient and therefore stable under load. APFC basically reduces total harmonics, corrects input voltage, and it allows for full input voltage range. Thankfully, this power supply has active PFC. This power supply has a lead-free black paint finish and comes with one 120 millimeter fan which is recessed so fitting it in almost any case should not be a problem. This fan and the many ventilation holes will have no problem keeping the inside of the power supply cool. Here's the power switch and the power cable connection. This power supply has lots of leads and they are all modular, even the main motherboard leads. These sleeved modular leads cut down the cable mess inside the case and improve airflow. They are simple to connect and disconnect and therefore you only need to attach the leads required for your particular hardware setup. To really appreciate how much space a modular power supply frees up inside the case, I've installed a few computer components to give you a better idea. First, have a look at the inside of the case with a regular power supply. You can clearly see not being modular means all the leads are inside the case, even the ones you are not using. Now have a look inside the case with the Silverstone ST75F 750 watt modular power supply installed. There's no mistaking the free space which not only looks great but also allows air to circulate more freely and provide much better air circulation resulting in lower computer temperatures. So modular is a great way to go especially if you have a small case. Finally have a listen to the 120 millimeter fan.
This power supply performs very well. It's completely modular and it has lots of power and plenty of leads. It even comes with four PCI Express leads for a quad video card setup. Overall, this is a 100% kick-ass product. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds. This has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com. And while you're there, you can go into the forums and register. And remember, registration is completely free. Also, keep in mind, you can find out a lot more on this product in the forums. And as a final note, if you love watching my video reviews, please remember to help support 3dgameman.com. If you wish to support, please visit support3gm.com. Until next time, take care. And 850. I'm reviewing the 700 and supply and a non-modular modular 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 majorly lots of leads and plenty of power. Power oh yes Got to love the power.